Hi, I'm Julia Griffith from Jewelry Advisor. In this video, we will compare the luster of different gem materials. Luster refers to the quantity and quality of a gem's reflection. There are different terms to describe luster, and we will talk through these whilst looking at real gem examples. First up, adamantine luster. Adamantine luster is the brightest luster description and means diamond like. Some institutions reserve this term to only be used with diamond. Subadamantine luster means near diamond like, and this luster is very bright, just not quite as bright as a diamond. Examples of subadamantine luster include gems such as synthetic mosinite, zircon, and demantoid garnet. Bright vitreous is a description for gems that display a brighter luster than glass, however the luster is not comparable to diamond. This term is used to describe the luster of many gems including ruby, sapphire, emerald, cubic zirconia, topaz, spinel and quartz. Vitreous means glass-like and materials showing a vitreous luster are comparable to man-made glass. Gems that show this luster include fluorite and paste. To show two of these lusters side by side, here is a close-up of a GTD, which is a garnet topped doublet. This is a composite stone made out of a thin layer of garnet on top, which covers the table and some of the crown facets, and then the rest of the stone is made out of paste. And due to the difference in luster between these two materials, a sharp boundary can be seen where the garnet ends and the paste begins. Here are all of these lusters side by side. There are other luster terms used in gemology, such as dull vitreous for gems that reflect light but to a lesser degree than vitreous gems, dull for gems that reflect little to no light, metallic for gems that have a mirror light reflection to them, and also descriptive terms such as resinous, silky, waxy, and pearly. I hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to the Jewelry Advisor YouTube channel for more.